welcome to ncrt class 5 chapter 4 does it look same part 2 half a turn once there was a king he was upset because thieves kept stealing costly jewels from his locker here he is what the locker looked like the locker could be opened by giving its sandal of a turn another of a turn and the locker would be locked again the king would often leave the locker open thinking it was locked can you guess the reason okay children this is from your uh, textbook page number 77 and as i said in before video also the explanation of half and turn with an animation is given in the introduction video okay so here what happens it seems the king he forgets it seems often he leaves his uh, sorry the bureau which is there the locker which is there it open thinking that he has locked it why let's see that now here in his locker how it is see this is the top portion this is the down portion and if it is like this it is open so half a turn means what did i say it has to cover half the part that is from here to this part if it covers in that way then we can see it in this here okay if it covers in the uh, this way that is from here if it covers till here okay if it turns till there then it becomes a half a turn but when it does that what happens again that yellow design will only come so often he confuses and he leaves it like that so one day his clever daughter gave him an idea which he liked very much now he never got confused the king's daughter asked the king to put a dot on one of the yellow blades so did you guess which was the idea given so what did she this is a open shape is yes it no so lock open locker shape so she asked to put a dot here see have place a dot here okay so it is open now half a turn means what happens the turn will come the lockers uh, it will be turn from here to here then the dot will come down so how will you recognize if the dot is down side it is locked if it is upside then it is open now is there any confusion for him no understood now the king had many such lockers with different handles check if on giving them a half a turn he can get confused with these two okay now check this is the first shape which is given so half a turn what happens again the same shape will be there this also same yellow will be there same shapes will be there so again what can we do what indication we can put you can put any dot or anything or any triangle any mark okay any mark on the top for open so if when it is closed what happens see when it is closed what happens the mark will go come to the down side and then you can easily identify whether it is locked or it is open now same after half a turn guess which of the shapes below would look the same after half a turn so here few shapes are given for you okay half a turn means what see the girl is standing in this way exactly when you come this side then it will be half a turn this image is a half a turn and easily you can identify in this way ma you take a circle okay now see the circle have divided into two colors one side green and one side red equally half yes or no so half a turn means when i place the object here and it moves from here to here then it completes half a turn 1 by 2 turn that is half turn now let's see each and every shape individually same after half a turn that will be the top will be the original position down when it comes it will be the half a turn and one more thing is you have learned in your shapes and angles that the complete angle is 360 degrees so half of that is 180 so if it covers 180 degrees then it is also called as half a turn now we will take the positions okay now first one which is given is a square for you in your textbook 
and if it is same will place in this box if it is different will place in this box now let's do half a turn so when i did half a turn what is happening is the shape changing no it's same so i have put it in the same next is a rectangle now this shape i'll make a half a turn then what happens it is also same now let's see the next shape circle so directly you can say in circle when i make a half a turn will there be any change no it will be same now the same rectangle but i'm taking in a vertical shape okay so when i make a half a turn is there any change no same next now we have taken a triangle which is pointing on to the top now when i make a half a turn what happened now this triangle it was pointing top that side so when i did a half a turn this point came down so now it is different so i'll be placing it here now this next position how many sides are there see 1 2 3 4 5 6 sides are there so this now when i make a half a turn is there any difference no same now another shape is given for you here see it's uh, pointing on top and the base line is here now when i make a half a turn see what is happening it is getting inverted the line which was there here it went top and the pointed line came down so it is different okay children understood that now do you find it is difficult to tell if is then there is a way to check your guess here is how you can do it now if you feel that when a shape is given like that and if you feel it difficult to tell by seeing that there is one idea you can do now take any of the shapes now the shapes which you have done take any of the shapes see for example here one shape is given rectangle she has taken okay and trace outline on sheet of a paper you keep it on top of a paper and trace the outline outline means take a pen or pencil and draw the outline once okay outline now keep the shape on its outline and give it half a turn now what they are asking to keep it on the shape and give a half a half a turn if it exactly fits on that circle then it is same if not it is wrong for example see here i have taken the shape of this rectangle have made a outline have you seen the dotted lines now what i am doing i am giving it half a turn so when i did half a turn it is same so if it is wrong what happens we can see the dots outside practice time find out which letters in english alphabet look same after half a turn now they are taking alphabet and asking us to do which alphabets look same after doing half a turn for example i have taken a okay and when i give it half a turn and always remember ma in alphabets if you want just reverse alphabet and write it you will get half a turn now see for all the alphabets of a turn which i am providing it for you here l m n o p q r s t u v w x y and z so have been done for all the letters see exactly reverse if you write you will get the half a turn man no need to confuse for this at all so let us in english alphabet that look the same after of a turn r see here h is it similar of a of a turn this is original this is the reversed one next i okay i never take the lines i take it in this way okay n c n o s x and z all this look same even after half a turn a second one which of these english words reads the same on half a turn now they have given us uh, words like zoom mouse swims and sis and noon and which will look similar after half a turn so now have to do for zoom have to do the half a turn see ma i am doing half a turn so what is happening it becomes reverse okay next similarly for the next one mouse similarly for the next one 
swims next similarly sis next noon okay so sorry so the english words which reads the same on half a turn are what are reading similar on a half a turn okay so m is looking like m only w m o w m o w is it seen yes swims s w i m s s w i m s swims right s i s s i s n o o n n o o n so all these letters look similar even after half a turn third one give half a turn to the numbers from 0 to 9 find which of them still looks the same similarly as we did for uh, uh, no, uh, sorry alphabets now they are asking us to do for the numbers okay so see one by one i'll do for all the numbers from 0 to 9 and check for which all it is same and while taking one always take the standing line one only instead of that sleeping line and slanting line so now here seen which are same the so numbers 0 to 9 look same after of a turn are 0 1 and 8 does others look same no think of all 2 3 and 4 digit numbers which look the same on half a turn so they are asking us to think of all 2 3 and 4 digit numbers which look same after half a turn so we know that only the same numbers are 0 1 8 after doing half a turn so we can do only with these numbers so two digit numbers which we can form is 11 and 88 yes or no can you form it with 10 no so 11 and 88 Three digit numbers similarly one zero one because if I give half a turn also I'll get one zero one triple one one eight one eight zero eight like that okay now four digit numbers is one zero zero one 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 double eight one eight double zero because if I give a half a turn that is if I reverse and write also it should be same now which among the following pictures will look the same on half a turn. they have given us few pictures and they are asking us which will look same on half a turn let me take one by one the first shape and have given half a turn second shape third shape see ma all shapes i am doing half a turn okay so which are looking same see this is similar after half a turn and then this is it similar no this plus sign that is also similar p sign no that is not similar the flower See after of a turn also it is same. This shape is it same? No, because pointing here and down was here. Now what happened? The uh, the down part came up and pointing went down. This is also same. Okay, children understood how to do that. Now have you activity time? Have you ever seen a windmill? You all know windmill. Yes. What is it used for? See. This is a windmill which you might have seen while going in trains and all. Listen, or when you go out stations and all, especially when you go Tamil Nadu side and all, you can see that. So the energy made by windmills can be used in many ways. These include grinding grains or spices because when the energy due to air, this will be rotating and energy is generated. Ma, that energy is used for grinding grains, spices, pumping water, and sawing wood modern wind power machines are used to create electricity also look at look let us make a toy windmill so now they are asking us to make a toy windmill now take a sheet of paper okay like this then fold it as shown in the figure we make it for boat as or not to make it a square we fold it and we cut out this part No, no. So like that. Now cut out the blue part of the paper, blue part of the paper, and now it will be like a square like this. Now fold it along the red line that is from here and from here. Okay, diagonally you have to fold it, both diagonal wise. Now draw a circle on sheet of the paper. Fold it and then open it. Why we are folding is so that we'll get the marks here. Okay, and then draw a circle in the between. Now cut along the red lines. Till you reach the circle, so this okay. Till the circle, don't come till center. Till circle, you have to cut along the red line. See here, you can see how cut it. Now 
take a pin and make holes on four corners now what you will do on four corners this corner this corner this corner this corner like that okay see here this corner this corner this corner you will make it now fold the corners such that all the holes lie on one top of the other so now what you will do from here you will bend and take here this whole part this whole part th then you can find like a flower then pass a pin through the hole and fix a stick then pass a st uh, uh, sorry pass a pin through that and then keep a stick so that it will stand all like that and a stick will be there okay children now your mill mill is ready run it and then see how fast does it move does your windmill look the same on one fourth turn now the first question is does it look same on one fourth turn and does it look the same on half a turn they're asking one fourth turn and half a turn okay yes it looks same on one fourth turn so one fourth turn means exactly quarter mile if a circle is there the exactly quarter part it covers then it is one fourth turn see wherever you turn now this is a windmill which is taken however you turn again the three blades will be like that now as yes, it looks same on the half turn also the half turn is equal to Two one fourth turns. So now in fractions we learned two one fourth is equal to half a turn. Now Sima, for example, if this is the windmill, and if I give a turn now, see, is it looking same or not? Now I'll give you one more half a turn. See, first I give one fourth turn. Is it looking always the three blades will be like that only? Okay, children, do that activity. and learn the lesson properly thank you